What's up, YouTube? Got some more Uncharted gameplay here. What? Sorry. Um, I got some more Uncharted 3 gameplay here. This is Team Deathmatch. No, no, I'm sorry. This is King King of the Hill. Holy shit. This is Team Objective. And I'm playing as Elena. I got um. I think I got my own and I and here I kill my own teammate. Dude, apart from the other guy on the other team. Um, Marlo's in 9, I'm pretty sure I got Beast Mode on, and what's this other one called? Monkey Man and uh, Mega Bomb. I got the Mega Bomb kickback, and this is one of the new maps, Graveyard, in the new map pack. And I hope they make more maps. Naughty Dog did say that they're making more DLC, they didn't specify that it's going to be more maps. But, uh, then they, they still gotta make a couple more levels that are missing from Uncharted from the campaign of the uh, the Cartagena level, the, the prequel, whatever, the, the flashback sequence in the campaign. They still gotta do that the, in Colombia. And uh, I think they can do some other levels, maybe uh, Ramsey's ship. I think it'd be pretty cool if you can play in Ramsey's ship if it's like sideways or something. If the entire match is, is inside the ship while it's backwards or you know, upside down or on its side. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be swaying back and forth because that might be too complicated to make. But uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. And uh, they gotta make another Irama the Pillars level because the City of Brass. I, I said this in another video. You know, and you guys know City of Brass is just the entrance of uh, of Shambhala. I'm sorry, not Shambhala. Um, Ubar, whatever. Irama the Pillar. That's the entrance of the entering in the campaign, so that city or whatever, the lost city, is a lot bigger than that. Yes. They can still make more. But anyways, uh I know they are making more DLC, just I don't know if it's more uh maps. But uh, anyways. We, we do win this match. And uh I, I've gotten better a little. You know, I, I haven't been playing as much you know, before I stopped playing, but I have gotten better. You know, I got, I got a free-for-all match, a couple free-for-all matches, but they're all on the same level in London Street, for whatever reason, so I'm just going to post one of those. The best one there. And, uh, I'm going to continue posting until I run out of the older videos. I'm going to be alternating between a new video and an old video. And here we are underwater. So... Yeah, and right now the the NBA playoffs are about to start. And if you don't know this about me, I am a huge Heat fan all my life. I admit, you know, that before LeBron came, I wasn't, you know, I, I'm not a bandwagoner because I've always been a Heat fan. But you know, I didn't, I wasn't as en enthusiastic about the Heat. You know, from the previous since 2007, you know, which is the last year that we went to the playoffs. Not the last year that we went to the playoffs. The, the last year we went to the playoffs was Shaq, because I think that the year after that we traded him. And that's when he, that's when we had the shitty record. But I do remember watching back in the 90s, and now we're playing the Knicks in the first round, so... That's gonna be fun. You know, I'm, I'm not entirely scared of them, you know. But... You, they gotta... They, they can't just sleep on them either. You know? They do have a lot of three-point shooters. They got Carmelo Anthony, who... He's arguably one of the best shooters in the NBA, one of the best scorers, not necessarily the best shooter. You know, they got Tyson Chandler, so we'll see what happens. But they, they gotta take care of their things. They got our weaknesses. Yeah, don't doubt we Our bench is really just utter shit, basically. Because these last two games of the season, they, I mean, I wasn't expecting a win in any of them. And they were essentially pointless, but man, the, the bench stunk it up way more than I would have thought that they would have. Man, I don't think they could have beaten the Charlotte Bobcats. It's two awful games, but they are they are largely pointless. You know, our big three were just resting. A lot of teams were resting this year. But I'm I'm hyped for the playoffs. Definitely hyped for the playoffs. Uh, I know the Heat are good enough to win. Will they win? I don't know. Uh, it is championship or bust, in my opinion. But they, they gotta they gotta step up their game. LeBron has to be 
Uh, he has to be what he was in the beginning, in the first three rounds of last year. Not, not, he cannot be that finals LeBron that we saw last year, that ch choking piece of shit that doesn't do anything. And passes the ball, defers, defers, defers. Every time he had the ball. Of course, Dwayne Wade, even though he's been injured, he always has that extra gear for the playoffs. So, and I do expect that to happen. And uh, Chris Bosh has to rebound. He's got to be a rebounding guy. And he's, he's the third option. There's no need for him to get all those points, you know. He doesn't have to score 20 points. But he does need to get 10 rebounds, I think. It, it'll make it so much easier on, on the Heat. And regardless of we, who we play, whether it's the Bulls, the Thunder, the Spurs, or, or the Knicks, the Sixers, or the Jazz. Which, obviously, we're never going to play the Jazz, but still. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. I do remember watching those Knicks games back then in the 90s. I didn't know that it was four. Apparently, it was four consecutive years. I, didn't, I remember that we played them almost every year in the playoffs, but I didn't know it was for four straight years. Wow. Oh, I hate the mark, man. Be mark in this in this level. Is... I can never shoot someone that's directly underneath me. And if I'm directly underneath them, I still can't shoot them. Like they have to, if they're directly below you. It's like impossible to shoot someone. But whatever. And when you're marked in, in, in graveyard specifically in this level, this map, you can just go underwater, and you can't do anything underwater. You're gonna see here in the, later in during this little round. Mark man round, I'm gonna be underwater right in front of the marked man of the other of the enemy team and I can't do anything. So it, it's kinda funny when you see it, you know. And and if you're marked, you can just actually I find it a lot easier to just hide behind one of the boys out in the ocean. Because it's it's super hard to kill someone from that far away. Unless they actually come and swim to you. It seems like grenades. When you throw them that far, they they don't seem to work that well in the water, I don't know. And here, I don't know how I killed him here. I'm just like jumping and hoping, you know, blind firing randomly, and I still get the kill. So <laughs> that's kind of funny, in my opinion, but uh. And you can't be underwater too long, because you do drown uh, if you stay underwater. Here he is, he comes right towards me. This, this looks stupid. I, I don't like the, the animation of uh, punching someone in the water. Look, look, look how stupid this looks. <laughs> but anyways, I can't wait for the for the playoffs, man. I'm sure that he'll beat the Knicks, you know, but they, they you, you can't take any team lightly in the playoffs. You can never take a team lightly. And then the second round, we're probably, if we beat the Knicks, we're most likely going to have to beat the Pacers. I don't see the Magic winning, beating the Pacers. We're not without Dwight Howard. They don't have Dwight Howard. They, they, are, they are a terrible team. Dwight Howard was the center of that team. Not just literally. You know, that wasn't just his position. I mean, he was like the focal point of their offense and their defense. And, you know, they relied too much on threes uh, apart from Dwight Howard. They, they, they got no chance against Indiana. So... Assuming the Heat beat the the Knicks and the Pacers beat the Magic, that's our second round match. And uh, I think we were three and one in the in the regular season. Uh, they're not going to be easy, but I think lack of experience is going to is in, is probably probably their biggest weakness. But they they will not be an easy out. They they're they're going to be a tough tough out. And then. Of course, I'm assuming that we're going to be playing Chicago in the conference finals, assuming we get that far. Uh, nothing is guaranteed. Busterfuck right here, look at this. I throw two Mega Bombs in this match, and I don't throw a single person.
and uh, as for, and uh, what's the other matchup? The Hawks and Celtics. That that to me is kind of. I hope for the Celtics. I'm not rooting for the Celtics, but I, I'm pretty sure the Celtics will get that one. The Hawks don't have Al Horford. They need Al Horford. They don't need him that bad. I'm sure. I'm sure that could be a seven-game series, but they they need out without Al Horford. Boston always plays better in, in, the, in the playoffs. The last couple of seasons, that's how it's been. The they're, they're a playoff team. And in the West, there's a... Uh, the Spurs should be the Jazz, no problem. They, I don't expect a first-round upset like last year. Memphis is a... Uh, Memphis, Utah is not Memphis. Well, they're like a poor man, Memphis. They're really, really dirt cheap, poor... Uh... Poor man's business. So, I don't expect anything. I, I, the Spurs, I expect them to advance, and then they'll be playing either the Grizzlies or the Clippers. And that one, to me, is the toughest one to take. That one looks like the toughest. You don't know who's gonna win. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and predict that the Clippers will win. I don't know how many games, seven games probably. And there I am jumping around like an asshole. Uh, the Lakers have to play the Nuggets. I expect the Lakers to win. You know, Kobe's gonna do his thing. The Lakers are too much for the Nuggets. Not enough star power. And then the other one, OKC, they have the toughest road in my opinion to get to the finals. Among the, among the four favorites, you know, which is Spurs, Bulls, Thunder, and Heat. Those are the favorites. They have the toughest road to the finals. They gotta beat the defending champions in the first round. Like, who's expecting to do That's not gonna be easy. No way. Then they have to play the Lakers, probably, most likely, in the second round. That's not gonna be easy. You know Kobe's gonna wanna go back to the finals again after that shit that was of, of a playoff run that was last year. And then, they, then after that, they're probably gonna have to play San Antonio. And then they have to go to the finals, and presumably they're gonna have to play either the Bulls or the Heat, most likely. Th that's not gonna be easy, man. They they have the toughest road to the finals, I think. But I think they can't. They have the talent to do it, no doubt. But oh, it's not gonna be easy. But just hope the Heat win. But there you go. That's the end of the game. 17 and 9, 119 points to win. So peace out, guys.